Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. This is CKNA. Cold CKNA. Yeah. <laughs> but luck see round two and three of the southern of the oh my god oh, of the south series wow. we found some speed yesterday hopefully it continues on kevin's been seconds. kevin's been fast the whole time i don't know how we don't need to hear your cart no <laughs> <laughs> i changed the gear i changed the gear though that was it that was uh, not can i put this oh yeah you can if you want to can we try after or is that too big of a chain? It's just been working. Okay. All right. So we're we're working on the cars. We found some some stuff yesterday for this track only. Um, it's crazy how this track is different. Love the layout. Cool. Uh, fun as hell. Uh, you just got to drive extremely differently than we used to. So that's been the learning curve. Uh, other than that, having a blast. Let's get after it today, guys. Um, hopefully, it's safe, clean race, and wherever it shakes up, it shakes up. That's all I can ask for. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Um, you guys say in the comments, try to record more. But we're having a tire party because we're our own mechanic and driver. And we still got a squeeze in driver meeting in the middle of this. So it's really hard to film, talk. Practice went well for everybody. Miguel picked up 1.5 seconds. I think he was top. He was sixth. Bryce was fourth, 0.007 off top time. Um, Kelvin was P2. Mikey battled it out in practice. I don't know what he was thinking. So, and Matt blew away the field in heavy. Better day than yesterday. And the truck is still acting wrong. But karting's going well. So, I got a smile on my face. After going P1 in practice, sorry I didn't record, I had a not so good qualifying session. And that all came down to 99% was driver. Um, I don't think I made one good lap. I ran off the track maybe every single time and I thought it was just my driving not the cart setup So I didn't change anything for the pre-final, but man was oh the cart just went In the complete wrong direction This is my issue and I say it every time and it's just something I keep doing over and over again And I'm not gonna do it for Charlotte, but I need to start practicing on new tires so I, so I know what the cart is going to do when it has rubber down because I make the cart fast with old crap and next thing you know when I put the new tires on the cart's just locked down so that's exactly what happened uh, made the cart fast with old tires put the new rubber on rubber the track came in on the rubber came in on the track and next thing you know the cart got locked down um, some of it was in my driving some of it was cart set up but overall I did not do a very good qualifying session at all and really none of us under the uh the tent qualified well except for kelvin um it was just insane the amount of like overdriving i was doing and just not doing a good job um myself uh it just all came down to me i think i think the cart had a lot more in it um i just did not you know showcase what the cart could have really done so um hands down not my best performance but uh, we didn't qualify that bad in the end we still had a good run. Um, I knew what I should have done, but I never even did the setup changes for the pre-final. So I stayed with the same uh, setup due to the fact that I thought it was all me um, when it came down to a qualifying session. So uh, we had a really good run in the morning practice. Uh, new tires came on, went straight to crap, and then qualifying, even though I did such a bad job in my head, uh, P5 and basically it was just Todd that was in front of us and everybody else ran a 1065. That's how close the field was Qualifying the book. We all sucked. End of qualifying On to pre-final and no changes. So we're gonna see how it goes um, Gonna do our best to try to keep up with the group and just drive better and be smart and clean about it So overall a good start uh, pretty clean I saw immediately that there was some contact, so I didn't know if there was going to be a penalty hand out or not. So I was just going to be basically uh, tr trying to trying to stay clean. Uh, I tried to slide in front of James. I think James was still there, so I bumped into him a little bit. And then uh, Todd and uh, Dan got away from us. Uh, immediately, Cart was uh, sliding all over the place, and this slide was induced to being too tight. 
I'm going to explain. What the cart was doing, it was basically picking up the inside tire and slamming it back down, which would unload the outside tire, causing it to slide. Um, it was due, due to, like, I was just jacking the cart too quickly, coming down, slamming the tire, cart would just slide. So, no, I was not loose. I was tight. This is something that's kind of difficult to uh, wrap your head around, but I knew the cart was already tight, and knowing how much wheel input I had to give it, I know the cart got way tighter. Um, so I did not free it up for this race, which I should have, but it was just basically bound down, hopping, causing it to slide all over the place. Um, was having a really good run. Um, James had just maybe a little bit less than me on the uh, top end, so he gets by me. And then I'm going to try to just stay right behind him and do the best I can not to lose him. Um, I did not have just the raw pace I needed someone to make mistakes or battle out or the cart handling go away. Uh, for this session, I just did not have it at all. Uh, the cart was just not happy and I was doing the best I could to hold on. Uh, I was trying to drive it in deeper, change my driving line up a little bit, uh, trying to see if I could put the cart in a happier spot on the track uh, so it can handle better. Uh, some of the corners it did, it did fine still. It wasn't like horrible. Um, this left hander coming up, the cart was still doing pretty, uh, pretty good. Uh, on top of that, I was dragging a lot of brake to keep the uh, the rear up. So when I would go into a corner to keep the cart up in the air to keep the hike, I would drag a lot of brake and use gas. Um, that way, I could carry the inside tire up higher, longer without slamming down and losing the rear. Um, I'm gonna sit behind James and try to push him forward. Uh, I usually work really well with him if he's on fire. Uh, I just he I let him tow me around the track basically. Um, if I if my car's not there, I just let him. You know, I use the draft to stay up with him and then push him where I can. So that was the whole point, the whole goal. Um, and then I wanted to finish somewhere where I can start on the inside row. So I'm trying to plan already ahead. Um, it's either going to be third, and I check back, uh, or fifth. I don't. I didn't want to start on the outside because <laughs> I saw that the outside lane. Uh, would get hosed from time to time. So uh, my goal was not to start on the outside. My start was my plan was to start on the inside. So uh, when the lap started to come down, I knew that either I had to make a move to uh, get around James to finish third, or I would have to let uh, the guy behind me get around and uh, and not try to lose too many positions by doing that. It's a gamble. But sometimes you have to think ahead, and I was trying to think ahead and position myself better for the finals, knowing that there's no way I could run down the top two uh, in, for the pre-final. Um, um, I was happy sitting here for the rest for the rest of the race and making a move uh, towards the end of the race or letting someone pass me. So I was trying to plan that out. Uh, also, I was trying to plan out where the cart felt better uh, so I can make the changes I needed to. You can see I would go in, lose the front end, uh, and then the front end would grip again and then turn. So you can see that the rear is driving the cart. Um, it was just two type of ways to know that you're tight is either the cart pushes or when it comes down and slams down, like we saw James hop a little bit, you can see the cart's tight. So I saw that he was starting to slow down and I was starting to pick up the pace. So I make my move. And then from here, I'm just gonna sit here and hopefully protect the best I can. And this is where I really want to finish. I don't want to finish any higher than this position. Uh, and I don't think I could have ran down Dan, uh, to be honest. So my whole goal was just to defend, which was going to be the best I could do. And just hold on for dear life this last lap. I did check over my shoulder. I saw I had a nice little gap. So basically, it was just hit your marks. Don't make any major screw-ups. You don't have to defend or block any, uh, any turns because um, that would definitely bring them into the race so sometimes it is good to check over your shoulder if it's like the final lap or from once in a while you know just check see if you ha don't have to defend or not your position um this is where i wanted to finish so really it was it was no need to defend at all uh, i had a little bit of a gap behind me and there was no real spot where he could just throw it in uh, to get the position so basically this was a very good learning experience that sometimes if you think you know what's going on, you should make the changes to keep up with the track. Um, it's just, I thought the cart was tight, 
but I was not 100% sure. And then after this run, feeling how it was just sliding everywhere, but it was sliding because I was tight, not loose. That's the hardest thing to figure out. So once you get that down, that's that's the key. I'm not taking any of your advice. Your advice? I mean, no. All right. Pre-fun on the book. Oh my God. Just not happy. <laughs> Don't know what to say. Put new tires on. I haven't felt good in the cart at all. Um, I went to a setup that was really slow yesterday on. Because they're saying I'm hopping everywhere, so I'm going to get the cart to do something completely opposite. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, go to a drawing board tomorrow. I'll try it again. I don't know what to say. Kind of down right now. Finish P2 because Dan got penalty at the start. Um, I don't know what I got for them, to be honest, if I have anything for Todd right now. But I am going to give a, a swing. The grand sub is back in. That's it. Send it. So starting P2, Matt had just gone on track and said that that setup I just put in was going to be way too free. So I picked an in-between jacks and grands and put that car in, uh, set up in. I also made a mistake and dropped the tooth. I listened to somebody other than James on Gary and it screwed me. Um, I ran way too low of a gear and was not able to pull that gear at all. And this uh, made the cart better. I freed it up. It was just not enough. Uh, to free up the car i should have left the grand setup in i think that would have been perfect uh it would have made the car free um it would have made roll roll through the corners a lot quicker here i still had to uh it, it didn't make it hop as bad like it wasn't hopping and sliding it was just you know just tight the car was tight but it wasn't unbearable to drive um but honestly the gear change here is what cost me the most. If I had just left my gear change, it would have been perfect. Trying to run too low of a gear with the cart not set up correctly is the killer. Um, but we we're going to do everything we could. And, and at first, it seemed like I, I might be able to keep up and hang with Baron. But as the race progressed on, um, I made some mistakes. Uh, I just could not keep the corner speed up uh, to pull that gear. And he started pulling away slowly. Um, I had the guys behind me, um, you know, breathing down my neck. They wanted, to, they were chomping at the bits to get around me because I just did not have the pace uh, this race for sure. So uh, definitely uh, survivor mode, trying to hang on for dear life. And then uh, James gets around me here. Um, it was a pretty, pretty tough, tough, hard race. Uh, we were beating and banging, and then I went right after James again. I didn't want him to get away because now I'm just thinking about how high can I finish and, uh, you know, trying to finish as high as I can for the championship. Um, I went right back at him, and now knowing that I had way less gear than uh, everybody around me, uh, once I suck up to the draft, I was just going to attack right away. I wasn't going to wait for behind. Um, I go, make the move right away. Um, just on the on the verge of getting into the to the grass on on that pass, uh, but uh, no, kept in between the two lines. We had a good battle uh, there, and then from there, it was just trying to keep everybody behind me. It, I didn't have anything for a leader, and I really didn't have anything for the rest of the pack. So uh, definitely was battling it out as hard as I could to keep everybody behind me. Um, I saw their noses a couple times, uh, so I was just trying to run. Um, a really good line I uh, try to you know keep it up as best I could Dan there goes on on the inside uh, we race really hard coming down here uh, where you go side by side this section and then here I know I'm just gonna die out of this last corner he drops behind me I defend on the inside do a crossover move and then from here I don't know what happened um, at that point in time I gave him plenty of space on the inside uh, he was already he already had the corner. The corner was his. I, I, there was no way to defend it. And then his cart shoots left. He goes left, and I go into the grass. That's all I'm going to comment on that. 
Uh, so I'm hustling back down, trying to do the best I can. I don't know how James went from behind me uh, all the way that far back in the pack as well. He must have had a rough outing as well. So um, I was just trying to get back back by James and try to run down the pack. Um, right when that incident happened, I started driving a lot harder and a lot better. So it kind of woke me up and pulled me out of my funk. So confidence is a big thing when driving as well. I know the cart might not be feeling well, but I entered this race not feeling too good either. So that really was probably one of the big things that hurt me, confidence. Sometimes, guys, if the cart's just not handling right, you got to make it do what you want to do. Um, so right here, James goes and points, uh, points me by. Uh, he knows that he has an issue, so he does not hold me up as well. I greatly appreciate that. And then I'm going to try to run down the pack. But there was no battling up front. Those guys up front would just battle a little bit. I just needed them to just go after each other for a little bit. Just so I could suck right back in. That's all I needed. But no battling happened. No passing happened. Um, they were nose to tail the whole race. And then this was the best I could do. Um, I was did not know what happened during that race. It was just uncharacteristic. Uh, left plenty of space on the inside got sent wide uh, I saw his video as well he posted a video it was just hard racing I guess we're gonna chalk it up to just hard racing um, it looks like Kevin went to go make for a move just wasn't close enough uh, I needed them just to battle out a couple couple a little bit sooner but in the end uh, best I could muster out was a p5 um, on to tomorrow uh, thanks for watching guys just remember uh, don't give up you're never out of it and sometimes racing doesn't go your way but it's just racing and that's sometimes i gotta tell myself it's just racing thanks for watching guys i appreciate all the support p5 in the end good run on to the next round